Hey, 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 it is your girl, Candace, with Cubs Driven Fashion Locator right here in Birmingham, Alabama. Hey, guys, happy, happy new year. Happy new year, happy 2022 to you all. Thank you. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for my old and new subscribers. We are at 125. Let's get this thing up to 300 before June. So with that being said, guys, I am going to get into the intro and I'm going to show you about this DIY that I'm working on. I'm Candice. I'm Candice. I'm Candice with Cubs. Cubs, jewelry and fashion. I am your girl. Yes, I am. I am your, your Birmingham jewelry maker. So today, you most to this evening, it is Saturday. Um, I think this is January the 8th. And I am going to do this DIY. You will not see my face in this video. You're probably glad. <laughs> but no, you will not see my face in this video. I am going to work, work, work on this DIY. Um, this is a pair of earrings that I have created. And I think they're cute little hot pair. You can hopefully you can get a good view of them. I hate I don't have anything that really really can sit up where you can actually actually see. But yeah, let me do this. This is how they're looking. Undose hot. Got my book. Undose hot. Those are bad so yes i am working on these those are already gloss and i'm getting ready to gloss this set up and do the back and once i finish that i'm gonna let you all watch me work on this set right here so with that being said i'm gonna get started how have your new year started off how have your new year started off? How y'all doing? How things are going out here? With so, so much going on. With so much going on. How are things going on with you all? Oh, so on here at the back, I am just going to do plain black. I'm not going to um try to take this black, and, I mean, this earring on the back side and put anything on because it's doing so much on the front. So, I'm just going to paint it black on the back. Put my initial on it once they dry and everything. And it's going to be a wrap. This is the first DIY of 2022 with Cubs during fashion. How about that? How about that, guys? So, what's in the news? What's going on? Did y'all y'all saw where Sidney Portier, Portier, I think I'm pronouncing his last name right. I hope I don't want to miss the, le the legend last name up. But he passed. And it's funny because, I don't know, um, when I heard about it yesterday, for some reason that man had just fell in my spirit, guys. For some reason he fell in my spirit and I was like, I don't know what I was looking at. I was like, I'm surprised he hadn't passed yet. He's still alive. I was like, I, it's it's amazing he's still alive. But later on, yesterday evening, I'm watch, laying down and I'm watching the news. And it said a man is dead. And I'm like, no. I loved him. I loved him. I loved his moves. I loved his acting. So, have you all heard about it? Um... What are your thoughts on it? Because honestly, if you notice, he's not they're not mentioning him a lot. Um they're not mentioning him a lot on the news or anything. Uh, not even on so social media. And I've been on social social media um today, yesterday, last night, because my phone was acting crazy, crazy. And I had was kept trying to get on there because I was trying to do stuff for my business. And um, just different, ooh, just different types of stuff for my business 
And um, I'm telling you, this phone showed out. So happened my daughter, my baby daughter, Kim Newell, she ended up doing something. Maybe I had it on the wrong, huh, let's say, the wrong, I guess, um, connection or something. But that was the one I had been using. And she put it on this other one. And now my phone has been acting right all day since about after 2, two or 3 o'clock. It found me got where it should be acting right so I was able to do some posting, able to work on post some stuff at the business and I said, you know what? I am finna go in and do finish up these earrings with the DIY. I started on these earrings the other day. That's how I, you know, I see y'all, that's how I work. I may start and then just put it down and have to come back too, especially when I don't have that zeal. And for some reason lately, I haven't been having it. But guys, it's got to get better. It's going to get better. Because I know what I want. And I know what I want to happen with my business. So I know that if I don't push it, who will? If I don't believe in myself, who will believe in me? It starts with me. So how have your Saturday been so far? What's going on with you? What are you doing? Entrepreneurs out there, how, what are your goals for this year with your business? Put in the comment. Put in the comment your goals. Even if you're not an entrepreneur, put in the comments on your goals. What you want to, what goals are you setting this year? What intentions are you setting? What, um, what, diff, what, what, you want to do different in your life this year, have different to make things much better for you and you be proud of yourself. Mass is to take my business to another level, to bring out new ideas, new creation, to bring new stuff to my business, to gain 50 new, 50 new customers this year. That is my goal to gain 50 new customers. And if I get those 50 to go over to go higher. So I'm aiming for 50 new customers for my YouTube channel to be at 1,000 before the year is out. Those, excuse me, those are my goals. And if I'm consistent at it, I know that I can get it done. I know I can get it done because I go hard. When I, when I put my mind to it, I go hard. Yes, I do. So yeah, those are my goals. And I know quite sure I have some more. But for right now, that's what I am setting. Setting it and especially with what I have going on. What I have posted you all about with um, Huntsville. Those are my goals. I am working on the African piece now. I'm painting this the second coat. I'm getting ready. I'm putting on on these. And once they dry... I'm not going to even, um, this top part would not be painted, but you'll see how I'm going to do the bottom part. And I promise you I'm going to try my best not to make this video that long so that you don't get bored. I don't need you getting bored on me. No, I don't. But yeah, guys, uh, ladies and gentlemen, Family, because that's what we are up here. Family. That's the bottom part. The house is quiet. Very quiet. Thank God. Of course, your girl will be out vending next on the 15th. On the 15th, I'll be vending again with the last peep out um, group I was, um, ladies I was vending with. Um, a friend of mine that does handmade jewelry here, we collaborate and work together um, a lot of times. A lot of times we do. And she's going to be, we put in to vend together. So she's going to be vending with me. This is True Red. 
And y'all have seen me show this before, this true red. I love using it. So what do y'all think about Taco Bell with the hot wings? What are your views on that? Have you all tasted them? <clears throat> I haven't. I have saw two people do a review on them. One person didn't like them. The other girl, she she did. So, um, I was just like, wow. I didn't know they had that. But I have a favorite place here in Birmingham that I like to get my wings from called J Wings. Them babies be big. And when you get the country fried wings from them, they cook them right then. It takes about 15 minutes. But guess what? Your wings are hot and fresh. So I always get the country fried, the lemon pepper country fried. So I don't think I want to try Taco Bell because the last time I did get Taco Bell, they pissed me off. They gave me the wrong order. And it's my fault. I would I didn't look in the back. I would have thought <clears throat> that they would at least know to just give me um three um Supreme Tacos crunchy like I asked for. So I haven't been back to Taco Bell since. And that was last year in no in December, the first part of December. So it's been a month. I hadn't been back with them. And it's probably longer than that. They people in the restaurants now, they just don't they just don't do like they used to. They're not polite. They rushing you. They don't want to give you uh whatever you know if you want sauce, if you want ketchup, mustard a straw or anything, now you have to ask for it. I, I really don't understand. I'd rather stand on a stove and cook now than to keep buying this sorry food that they're selling now. And then the food just really don't even taste good anymore. Like they've taken out some with the food ever since this corona, or it may have been before the corona. Food just don't taste right no more. It's like you really got to get to the right store to get the right taste or something. Do y'all agree with me or is it just me? Let me know in the comments below. This is Leaf Green by American, like that red. This is a new green that I kind of have fallen in love with. Not my hunter. I used to use this um, Holy Green. But I'm out of the hold of green. I love it. I love it. But I wanted to try a different green. You know. Because you have to stay up with your green and your black and your red and white. And those colors when painting. Make sure you keep them in stock. But if you can't find what you really like, you have to just substitute so you can get it. Okay, now I lay that down to dry real quick. Once that dry, I will gloss them up. Y'all, I'm just so thankful and grateful. I'm grateful to be able to see this day, this year. I'm working on my vision board once I finish this. 
And once I upload this video, I may add my vision board at the end so you all can see it. But I want to think on how to do that. I hadn't done one in so long. So I hope that vision board come out right. I'm going to do a second coat on the back with this black. And then gloss them up. And those papers will be ready. Ready. Ready, ready, ready. Don't mind my singing, because I already know I can't sing, but hey, this is my video. I can play around if I want to. Nah. Subscribe to my channel. Send your friends over. Share the video. Comment below and subscribe to my channel, please. What are we at? 16? Oh, my, 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 my. Let me hurry up. I ain't want to keep y'all this time on. Let me hurry up. Do this part. Put that design on it and let it be. I'm trying to hold it up so that y'all can, you all can actually see what I'm doing. So while it's doing that little drying, I'm going to finish these black up, then put that on, and it's going to be one long. I'm just putting black paint on the back of this earring. I'm not going to design this back because there's enough going on. There's enough going on on the front. So I'm not going to worry about trying to fix up the back. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I just have to let it be. I may put some gloss on the back. I may. I may just leave it black and gloss it. I mean, um, some see, some glitter. Excuse me, y'all, some glitter. But at the end of the video, I will be showing the actual picture of them, how they turned out. So this video may go up sometime tomorrow. I hope y'all been enjoying the other videos that I have put up. I hope I, um, you know, was able to bless somebody's soul with um, a message that I kind of try to give when I come on. Okay, bring 
nose back down. You can do that and then I'll be done. Just thought about that. I got to paint the back of those, so I can use this black for that too. So that I can use it up. I don't want to waste no paint. So, in that case, let me go ahead on and just do this. So, now I am putting black paint. As you can see, as you can see, I am putting black paint on the back of the African piece. And to right now, I am just using a paintbrush to paint all over. But in a few, I'm going to change from this paintbrush when I get ready to mess with those to my little nail designer. And of course, you know I'll go with these again. I hope your Saturday has been a blessed one. just want to thank God for all he has done for us. You know, I thank my ancestors for giving me, you know, showing the way, the path that they, the things they went through. I'm thankful for them as well. And I thank myself for being able to show you and do what I do <clears throat> and be able to show you. I think myself to share my gift with you all. And I thank you all for watching me because you don't have to. So now I am about to take this pen, this nail, art nail pen. I got from the Supply Beauty Supply. This is another one. It came in three sizes. There's one more size somewhere, but I very seldom use that one. I have a lot of different ones, though, because I also have this one, but I don't know where the other small part. I don't know where I got this from. I really don't. I think the dollar store. You can try the dollar store. If you paint, if you do or do this as your job, your hobby, whatever, you can find these at the dollar store. So all I'm finna do is put a um oh I hate when they do that. Because I definitely won't get my paint out right. Where's my black? Put a little more black in here. Now let's see what you got now. Yeah, I'll be doing the darn most. When I tell you, I be doing the most. I know I'm almost at this black. Come on, buddy. I hate when it. Uh. Okay. And all I'm doing is finna put some lines. Nothing big, nothing fancy, nothing hard, but some lines. One, two, see that? Three, four, and I'm going to go across. One, let's see.
something about this black that I like. It just acts a fool when I use my this stand nail art on a piece of wood. So I had to kind of play with it. And there we go. And that's it. These are the pieces. And I will show you all how they turned out later. So thank you for watching my video. You can you can subscribe to my channel. You can also go to my Facebook page and check me out at Candace S C C S, excuse me, Candace C S National Fashionable on Facebook. If you're on there, check out my website www.candacecubsandsjewelry.com. And with that being said, guys, I love you. You have a blessed weekend. May God protect you and keep you and love on somebody. Give somebody a kind word. Give somebody a smile. I'm Candace. I'm Candace. I'm Candace with Cubs. Cubs, you're in fashion. I am your girl. Yes, I am. I'm your Birmingham jewelry maker. Bye bye.